So what I'm actually showing on the iPad is what you're seeing. Okay. And I'll keep it simple. I'm gonna try to go back that way so I can come forward through the telescope. Does that make sense? Yeah, uh, yeah. Please just stay inside. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you get outside, we can rescue it. Are we good? We're good. We're live. We're live. Hey, welcome back to SolidWorks Live at SolidWorks <laughs> World 2019 in Dallas, Texas. I'm Jeremy Rignaris. I'm joined now somewhere over here by Lauren from Tsunami XR. Lauren, welcome. Thank you, Jim. So what are we looking at or what am I looking at here in this uh, huge, massive space? So you are looking at the telescope provided by SolidWorks and Dassault. And we're looking at, at, at Tsunami XR workspaces, a multi-platform communication system that creates a virtual 3D space that you can bring in any data. So we brought in this GLTF provided by SolidWorks that went through the whole workflow process. And what we're actually doing on the iPad is following you in VR space. So you're in VR. So you can see everything I, I see right now. I can see right everything now. you see. And now I could also get out of this mode if I wanted to, and I could interact with you from the iPad, or I could interact with you from a desktop, or from somewhere else in VR, or even in AR. So you're gonna uh, appear here, or? Um, if you, you'll see my uh, avatar, he's gonna be there around somewhere. So I'm gonna stop following you for <laughs> a second. And that way. And it's all so easy, isn't it? Unfollow user. So now I'm walking around again. And there, I actually see your, the back of your head. You so see if the... you turn around, you should see my avatar. Look up. Oh, there you are, right there. there. Yeah, that's me. I, that's could, see, I could see you're like on and a microphone right the there. Screen there, you can see that we see each other in VR. OK. Or, sorry, in a virtual spatial space. And we can do it's this different. from anywhere? From anywhere. From anywhere in the world. Any yes. Device. Any device, anywhere in the world. It can be on our cloud on TsunamiXR.com, okay. or it can be local. So right now, everything that you're witnessing is running on this little box. This is the whole server. But it can be any internet on-premises, uh, or it can be a GCP, Azure, AWS solution, and we run 100% on a private cloud as well. Okay, so I could take you for a tour of this telescope. You could. So. I'm actually very familiar with this telescope. <laughs> Our team does some You've work been learning? on it. Yeah, I've heard. So I want to go over there to that platform up there. What do I have to do here? So just I, teleport. Push down on the thumb pad. Click and hold and that thumb pad. Is that yeah, a little far away? Yeah, push it down. There we go. There you go. And then you're on it. And now I'm up here. And I want to reach for this handlebar that's right here, but I can't. It's not there. It's, it's a lot safer, though, here. In yeah, VR. that's a long <laughs> drop. I really don't want to come down from there. So we could have a collaborative design review where I'm in VR, you're maybe on a desktop or something like that. Is that what Absolutely. we're doing here? Collaborative design review is uh, one of the use cases along with training and sales or okay. just an educational tour, right? So you can imagine that this is an educational tour for the telescope. Okay. It doesn't even just have to be live. You can actually use a scripting system and we have some of the scripting in here and you can create a full on live or a full simulation in Tsunami XR workspaces. So I could use this for like training materials if I wanted to show somebody how something needed to be put together or go through a factory, like what a process might look Absolutely. like. Absolutely, click by click and you can set it up to be whatever logic you want, right? So you can let them fail or you okay. can stop them immediately on the failure and then say and correct them on the fly. Okay. So we're looking at this in VR. Are there any other ways that I could view and interact? Yes, we actually have augmented reality on headsets and also on the tablet, including the iPad Pro that I have in my hand. Okay. Would you well, like to check it out? I would. So All I'm right. going to take this helmet okay. off here. Oh, it's bright now. Okay, so all oh. we're gonna do, we, you see, the camera does it, but you see that we are still following you. Okay. I'll hold that for one second. Well, you hold that for one second. Like I have two mics now. <laughs> I'm going to unfollow you. And then, oh. Here, let's turn around turn so around. we can yep. see this on the camera. Much more interesting, right? And then, we're unfollowing. Oh. All right. Come on, world. There we go. Okay, so now we're gonna reset by going home. Now we're going to go into AR mode. And okay, so, so let's have the camera maybe follow, follow us so up. they can see. We're gonna actually step out of here first. So we're basically looking in real time th using augmented reality through the iPad here. And you can tell that the floor feels 
the right scale. Yeah. Like this I feels can... like the floor. No matter where I go, whoop. I might so, make it easy for the cameraman. So we're going to try and find a red button. So that's what we're looking for. We're Our goal is a red button. button. So what's interesting is, is I can see where we've been recording here, but on the iPad, we're actually looking in AR here. Yep. All right. I think we're going to get to the button. Oh, this is exciting. Okay. So here's the button. And then, can you hold that? Yeah, I'll hold the microphone. Okay. Now look, there's the sky. And the sky is the convention center. <laughs> we're going to press this red button. And we have caused, we did it right. Nope. Let's try one more time. Come on, live. It should be moving. Is it moving? No. <laughs> Let's try one more time. Oh, it stopped moving. So it should be moving. It creates an interactive thing, but you get the idea. Absolutely. That, uh, right, so we can bring in all those augmented reality, virtual reality, desktop, tablet, mobile, web, um, mobile VR, um, which I know you'll hear from our partner HTC about uh, yeah. here in a second. Pleasure. Part of the magic of that was actually how I was able to use the HTC Vive. And for yeah. that, um, we have Frank here from Hello. HTC. Why don't you uh, introduce yourself? Hi, Frank Black with HTC. Happy to be here. Uh, very excited to be at SolidWorks World and uh, all the great new announcements that uh, one of the world's best independent software vendors is enabling us to uh, optimize gra graphic pipelines and get their great uh, designs into VR just faster, better, cheaper. Yeah, so when I think of VR, I, I mean, HTC Vive is like the name that comes to mind. So I had on a blue device in there. Can you tell me a little bit about what's this device that I'm holding in my hands yes. here? So this is the Vive Focus. It's what's uh, referred to as an all-in-one device. So, it, so it's completely self-contained. Um, and it, it, it uses what's referred to as inside-out tracking device. So you say it's all self-contained. Does this mean I don't need the umbilical? It's so a, it's completely wireless. It's uh, it's a, what all-in-one device. So this is really a game changer when it comes to VR. It is. It and what you were seeing in that demonstration is the example of kind of a, a multi-mobile uh, modal experience where it really doesn't matter what device you're in. As an enterprise customer, you you may have a, a fixed deployment that needs a really high-quality, high graphic throughput, and you're going to need you know really great graphic cards to drive a, a, a high-fidelity experience. Um, that might be overkill or not quite the right use case for others where they want to actually just load content up on this, sh put it in a FedEx box, ship it, ship it to their customers, and have them uh, do a walkthrough uh, where they don't need that sophistication of graphics, but they still need the interactivity and it's more of a portability and deployability discussion than a high fidelity discussion. So I can load my VR content onto the device and ship it to somebody, and all they have to do is put this on and get the experience. That's correct. That or or is... you can you can log in to a Tsunami network yeah. through this device, and you can participate in an interactive experience. Um, whether somebody's using an iPad, whether somebody's using a PC, a, a mobile device like this, or a fixed device like our Vive Pro. Okay. Um, however you want to interact, whatever the use case requires. Well, Frank, this is really impressive. The experience that we had with Tsunami XR was really impressive. And what I'm really looking forward to is how our customers are going to be able to collaborate from anywhere in the world using tools like AR and VR. And now, not in the future, but now, they can leverage these tools today. And, and I think that's the real important part is that it's, this isn't like a, a future of virtual reality. We have customers that are deploying this hardcore value for anybody that's building something with some sophistication and they need to have their customers experience it or collaborate with their fellow engineers. So being here at SolidWorks World is like the place to be. Um, this is where it's happening and it's real today. So if somebody wants to learn more information about your products, where should they go? I think go to uh, vibe.com okay. or htcvibe.com. You can Google Vibe and you'll see it. We have a full product line up there, a lot of great accessories and um, you know partners that we work with. You should get everything that you need right there. Okay, so there you have it. If you want to learn more about this, make sure to visit their website. But if you're at SolidWorks World and you get the opportunity, make sure you come and visit the XR section where we have lots of opportunities to check out AR and VR experiences, including the Tsunami XR with the HTC Vive. Thanks for joining us, and we'll be back on in just a little bit.